Hello everyone, MG Doom here. It's been a while. I hope you're all doing well. I mean, my hair tells us the story how long of a while it has been. Long story short, I was working on a few things here and there and I couldn't really work on YouTube, but now I'm doing it full time. Everything has been put to rest and now I can do YouTube full time. So you're going to see me a lot, whether you like it or not. That's what the like and dislike button is for, part button. Okay, let's move on to a bit of gaming. So here we are with some f manager. I know I was playing it uh, last time I played like one race and left it there. So a bit of a backstory. I played this game once, played a race, played the second race and then there was a huge pileup of cars in the first corner in Jera. eight cars crashed and the game crashed <laughs> like how does that happen so i waited for them to fix it and fix it and fix it and it never got fixed so yeah here we are back to the scare one we're gonna finish what we started bring ferrari to the top that is the target for this game so here we go so here we're at the main screen first day at ferrari thank you very much and we'll see what we can do so let's have a good look at the calendar we have up to uh seven eight nine ten eleven eleven days yeah i have to count for that and i'll see what i can do in the meantime what's happening there with the tires oh as you can see i also like installed a mod for the new livery right over there this is like a las vegas livery because i'm gonna race with that Huge thanks to race department for that. Like those guys make the best liveries for F1. So yeah, let's go. First invest into the facilities, all of them. Why the hell not? There's that weather center show, hospitality. Yeah, one, one, we'll get one. Boardroom, yes, that as well. This is like the first race, so we need to look it over. CFD. How much does this cost? 10 million. We have 21, so now we're not gonna do that yet. Move quickly to parts, design parts. What are we gonna do? The biggest upgrade, underfloor. Straight up dump two. And 22. Yeah, let's design that. We'll reduce the minimal lifespan a bit. I'm gonna do it a bit more. Yeah, um, should I increase the drag? I don't think I should. I don't actually know where Ferrari is weak in the first place. I actually didn't see that. I should see that. It's medium and high speed. These are the parts it's weaker. So that's where we need to make the car stronger. So this upgrade will be focused on the medium to the high speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can lose performance everywhere, but the question is, should I? You know, I'm going to keep it a bit even for the game. Yeah, let's keep it up there. All right. What is the second one? Rear wing. Rear wing, rear wing. 1.3, yeah, sure. Mm. 20. I'm gonna do a craziness here. Okay, that seems decent. And we'll get a quick one. Um, let's do a chassis one. Okay. That is good. Is it worth it? Actually, I have no idea. You know, why not? Why not? Let's do this. This car is gonna be fast under my leadership. So is there anything else to do before I step into the weekend? I don't think there is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get something at the end of the month, like some prize money or not. So I'm actually gonna buy this and bite the bullet. I'm so... I should be given money in real life. Like I'm so bad with it. <laughs> I just reduced it to 8 million. Okay. All right, let's move on. Uh. We got the helipad. We upgraded it again. Yeah. Okay. Memorabilia. We will upgrade it again. Mm. 
Sure. Pit crew training. Shh. I didn't actually pay attention to that. Oh, I hate myself. Okay. I now know how to do this, so I'm gonna make a custom one and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is the madness I've created. So in Bahrain, there won't be much difference in terms of pit stop times. Jeddah, 0.03. Melbourne, 0.07. <laughs> That's how you break the game. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have to set performance targets now. Q3, I expect both cars to be Q3. I mean, your Ferrari, you're fast, you're the top car. Qualifying position, top four. Now, I'm gonna put it down to top eight and two cars. That gives a bit more money. Um, finish position. I am i can't trust both drivers. Should I like put it two cars in top 10? Yeah. In terms of finish position streak, I'm gonna say one driver finishes in top eight every race. Yeah, that feels safe. So let's get into the weekend. So I'm gonna finish practice and I'll be back at Q1. It'll be instant, don't worry. So I finished practice and now we're in qualifying and I got like a decent setup on both of them. I'm not chasing 100% up on that guy. So we're gonna build from here and go into the quali and we're gonna save the tires for the race and see what we can do i'm gonna release them somewhere around the six minute mark i'm gonna wait till then so here we are with the Q1 lap charles might encounter a bit of traffic i mean that ferrari looks good or maybe not actually yet we did touch that so that's good it just stopped on the track <laughs> like wow Let's see if Science has the same problem. I think he's gonna have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-seven one Charles. Carlos twenty-seven zero. Actually, Carlos went faster, so maybe Charles got held up. I don't know. Let's see what lap time is gonna be. It doesn't look like they're gonna get any more traffic. There's probably one more car of traffic. I don't know. Is this? Nick DeFries, yeah. He's warming up the tires and he's probably gonna start a lap, so... Let's see if Charles... I don't think Charles should catch him, but let's see. Okay, here we go, here's the end of his lap. I think he's gonna be clear here. Off needed. Copy that. Nice, P4. Science goes P3. So, yeah, let's move on to Q2. I think no. this is gonna be okay. Copy. So, here we are for Q2. Let me put this on. And uh, I'm gonna use the same tires. I'm gonna save like softs per session. I'm gonna keep as many softs in hand as possible and yeah. I'm gonna start a lap towards the end in the best possible moment, so let's go. I might have left this... Okay, go I might have left this a bit too late, so... Let us see. I think... Science might barely cross the finishing line. It's gonna be close. I also make them push their tires before they start their laps. So the tires heat up properly, because the game doesn't heat your tires. Okay. You can push. No lift off needed. Okay. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my god. They almost made it. Nice. Less lift off. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly what we want. Let's hope it goes well now. Use tires. And check it flag. Use tires and hopefully this will be a good lap. 
I'm guessing there shouldn't be problem. I feel like they are gonna be somewhere around Hamilton and Magnuson. I don't know if we can win this race, but we can definitely be on the podium. I'm gonna try the most aggressive strategies possible for this race, we'll see. Okay, here we go. What is Charles' time like? B1? B... What is going on? You stars might be actually good tires. You don't know. All right, let's move on to Q3. Okay, new tires for Q3. Definitely, there's no point. I mean, honestly, the used tires were so good. We got the best lap. Maybe the Red Bulls didn't set a good lap. They might get held up. I actually didn't see, so... Oh, this is gonna be crucial, so... Hopefully... Okay, let's go on this one. We're only gonna do one run. Just one run. I don't need to do anything more. I could do, a, like, a used run on the used tire, but, you know, let's do a one last run at towards the very end. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And okay. try to increase pushing status. There we go, Q3. Yeah, copy. And look up the tires in the ice pit. Yeah, go for All right. I hope they set a good lap. Why am I getting a message? Okay. I didn't know if he got held up, I was looking at my phone, so... 27-0? 27-3, he might have gotten held up. Okay, what is... Charles' time like? 45? Carlos, what is going on? Why is Carlos losing half a second there? He went to P3, Carlos is not gonna be there, P8, wow, he lost almost a second. This is gonna be hard to claw back, oh no, P9, he lost another position, he even lost to Magnuson. Something really went wrong, he probably got held up in the first corner, I was just looking at my phone, I didn't even know what happened, so let's move on. Alright, so here we are with the race, and I'm gonna make some strategy that could see potentially us winning the race. Um, is that possible? What if I do, like, softs? And... What if I use a hard tire and just straight up kill it? Hmm. This could, like, be a good strategy i'm just gonna compare it to another one so give me a second so i tried doing something different i'm gonna put charles on soft medium and softs and carlos is gonna go on hearts and he's gonna like kill the tire and then to do softs i actually want to try something different with both you know experiment a bit because it's been a while since i played it so i'll see what happens let's go so let's start the race here in Sakir, the floodlights are on. Yeah, I have Here we go, done that many times. Alright. And it's lights out, ooh, and away ooh, we ooh, go. Ooh, ooh. Hi. We want high aggression. Copy, copy. Okay. Charles did well. One place in the first corner, that's what we want. Honestly, I don't think he's going any further, he's already getting a gap. In terms of Carlos, he can be on the hearts, like, all the way to his pit stop. There's no problem with that. So, I expect them to lose positions here. Um, I'm actually gonna reduce the overtake aggression. And then after a few laps, I'm going to stop them from defending, so yeah. 
at the moment looks fine. A stop in Paris. Paris is in the front. Oh, I didn't know that. Paris is set the fastest lap. No surprises. The Red Bull setting pace. But we have already pulled in front of Stoll, so I am gonna make him look after the tires. There's no point in burning through that tire. In terms of science, the longer he stays in the DRS, the better. Don't defend. Actually, don't defend. Stay on the racing line. You need to stay close to the car in front. That's essential. Actually, even if he gets overtaken, he will still be in the DRS Falkenberg, and we want that. So, put it on aggressive. Because there's something I've noticed, like look at Hulkenberg's tires. Lap 3 and so already at 90%. This is what the AI does in this game. They just kill their tires. Hmm. By lap 5, their tires will be completely gone. I mean, by lap 10. Like, just look at what they're gonna do to their tires. They need to improve the AI in this game. They honestly, like, don't look after their tires. I know you're gonna be overtaken, so look after the tires. Okay, Science is also trying to overtake the car in front exactly as we want. Stick with Mr. Ocon. He seems like a nice bloke at the moment. He's defending too hard, but it doesn't matter. We got a white red Ferrari. Like, this car looks so beautiful. I love it. Leclerc is defending... Def I told him not to defend. Oh no, really defend. Yeah, sorry. My bad, my bad. Keep the overtake aggression high and leave that one rarely defend. Rarely defend means you will... Wait, what? Signs or takes Ocon. Yeah, that's good. That's also good. Okay. Ocon is on mediums. His tire wear is not bad. But, yeah, he's falling back and Signs is making up places. That is good. Once he overtakes Hamilton. He will be good. Charles is still fighting Verstappen. Keep fighting him, just give him a headache for no reason. Science is getting closer to Lewis. He's in his DRS, I think. Yeah. Nice. Keep going. Just bully him. No, <laughs> just bully him for no reason. Okay. Nice, nice. Attack. This is when you attack. Nice, nice. There's a five second gap, so you have some clear air work with that. And go chase Alonso. Okay. Nice, I'm gonna leave to you there. And Charles is also doing well. He is looking after his tires, and they're both catching Paris. Nice. Okay, Charles has been overtaken by Verstappen, but we don't mind. I'm gonna make him push towards the end of the stint.
Sainz is not really pulling away from Hamilton. He has to pull away from Hamilton. Like, come on, man. I mean, I could make him use up his ERS, but at the same time, I don't want to yet. <sighs> Leclerc and Sainz, when Leclerc and Verstappen doing a ping pong. One point seven seconds behind Paris. They're catching visibly closer. You know what? Charles could win this race. You never know. Sainz has broken the DRS from Hamilton. That's also nice to see. There we are, lap eleven. Charles has managed to catch. Perez, and in terms of tires, Perez is at 67%. Actually, they're not that far off. And Charles is at 71%. I'm gonna make him look after his tires, and uh, he's gonna attack him towards the end of the stint. That feels much better. Verstappen is at 75%, and Carlos is at 74%, but he's also closing the other guys in, so... That's also fine with me. Nice. Just what we want to see. Alright. Let's let Leclerc pull away. About signs. So, lap 16, Leclerc has entered his pit window, like look at how much it is. He caught Perez, raced him, and they have pulled a 7 second gap to Verstappen. So, he's in his pit window now, like his pit window is open and he'll be pitting next lap, so I'm making him push for the next two laps. Science is also catching. Stroll has pitted to another softs. That's also fine. I'm gonna make Science put on aggressive to lap 20 and then he's gonna attack full time. In terms of Charles, he just needs to keep pushing for these two laps and then he pits. Yeah. Lap 18 is when he pits, so... Oh, Perez has pitted. Perez has pitted. One lap early, undercut. Alright. It confirmed. Hopefully he gets held up. What is lap? No, he didn't get held up. So what we're gonna do is this. In terms of no lift off needed. You're yeah. Doing a good job. You don't even need to risk overtaking. There's no one around. Just push. And keep it tidy. Okay. Where did Perez come out? He's in clean air, so. Okay, Charles, you know what to do. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm cold. Winter has not been kind to me. It never is, and I love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So... And we need to increase leaf and cold. I'm not gonna look. Be careful with the tires. I'm just gonna look where Perez is. Please, please, no delay, no delay, no delay, no delay. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Perez, Perez, Perez. Oh, he's gonna come out in the front. I'd be surprised if he's behind. Where is he? Okay, Charles came out way in the front. But Perez is gonna like kill his tires. What tires is he on? Soft. Another soft. Perez will push. He will catch the player. 
Yeah, Perez is definitely gonna push. He's catching like at the rate of naught. But his tires will end up in much. Like, look at how close our tires isn't. No need to push. No need to push. The stupidity of the AI costs them everything. The moment Charles catches him, I have put it on rarely defense, so I'm actually then gonna do this. If Charles catches him, I'm gonna make science defend. Oh, he didn't. Let him boss, let him boss, let him boss. Don't let Perez pass. Remember. No matter what happens, don't let Perez pass. Just hold him. Let Charles cook. Okay, science has entered his pit window, but it doesn't matter. Now, oh, what's the shocking part that I didn't realize just now? Leclerc has pitted once. Science has it. Oh my god. Just keep him behind. Okay, go after him. Ooh, he just dropped him off to the ZRS on a straight. <laughs> wow, that Red Bull is like fast. What is his tire saying? 87%. Leclerc 91%. What is Alonso doing there? Has he not pitted yet? He has not pitted yet. That's unreal, man. Wow. Okay, Charles, you go and push. There is a crash. Where is Call the crash? Debris. Debris, who? Debris, uh, behind, on a hunt lap. What is Debris? Okay, Lewis and Stroll. Okay. That is our competition murdering themselves exactly as we want. So the next lap is going to be Science's it lap. And we want him to do well here. Okay. That was a nice screen freeze. Right. We are going to go on a soft and then another soft. Wait, where is it going to come out? Pit confirm and box. P7, okay. Yeah, box. Somewhere around Russell, huh? I don't think Charles is gonna win the race. I would be separate. Maybe. Actually, Verstappen hasn't bit yet, so he might go from a medium to what? To softs, I guess? Because he is in the window now. Um. I'm paranoid, that's why I lowered the... Oh, Russell is gonna overtake Alonso, Ocon. Will Ocon overtake Sainz? I think the chance of it is high. He's pretty close. No, he won't. Okay. Can push a bit more. So Sainz can get to P4 no higher. Try your best. Copy. I don't think Sainz's science, science target is P4. Any higher is impossible. Leclerc's target is P1. He is in that window. He's doing quite well. To be honest, yeah. I'm gonna make him push from lap 35, 34 onwards. Alright. Let's see how we do. Okay, lap 28. Charles has caught Verstappen. I honestly have no idea what St Verstappen is doing. Like, he's not going from a medium to soft, or he is. He's way too late for that. Hopefully, Verstappen bites his own teammate for long. What's going on? I feel like Verstappen is pushing. Let me have a look. He is pushing, yeah. 121 degrees on the tires. He's pushing. I don't know why. He might be coming in this lap. So he might go on to the softs and... I mean, that's the only thing that's coming to my head. He's going to a softs. 
He's not coming in. Okay. That was new. What is Verstappen doing? It feels like he's fighting Charles, but why is this man not bidding? Is he planning to go from a medium to softs? That would be ridiculous. I'm pretty sure whatever he's doing, Gatsley might be doing as well. I can't play with his shenanigans. I can't use up the tires there. What is Gasly doing? What is Gasly's tire history? He's on a mediums as well. So his strategy is probably the same as Verstappen's. A med... Gasly pits. Gasly pits. We have to see this. He has gone to a soft. Yep. Verstappen might be on a one stop. There's a really good chance now. Okay. What is Russell's tires saying? 74% on the mediums. Okay. Keep going. You know what to do. Just Verstappen came out on the softs. So he's going to the end on the softs. He's not winning the race. I don't think that's the race winning strategy. I would be surprised if it is. His AI in the game is overpowered as well. So you never know. Okay, everything looks fine so far. Charles needs to save a bit of fuel. He does have a gap to Perez as well, so he can save a bit of fuel. Maybe I should make science save a bit of fuel as well. In a few corners and we go again. Okay, that was helpful. Science overtakes Alonso. Alonso just locked up and went off. All right, so here we are in the pit window. Charles is gonna pit this lap. Is this lap? Yeah. This is the lap. He's gonna go to softs. Science is also gonna push this lap. I mean, they have a big gap, so a yellow flag now. there should be no problem. Perez is already on a soft. He has paired, so he has an undercut already. And I think Charles, Charles should come out in front of Perez, Copy. like way, way in the front. Okay. Two point six. Traffic with science. Wait, what? I forgot to pit. I'm so dumb. I completely Dark, forgot off. to pit. Wow. All right, here we go again. Turn two to box. So science should be in clear air. Yeah, he is. Hopefully he can look after his battery. So clear will get overtaken by Paris, but I don't really mind that. You know, I'm managing this quite well. So, lap 49, here is the state of the race. Charles is in P3, Sainz P4, 23 seconds behind, like he's in no man's land. He's good, as long as he doesn't mess up. So, I put like all the things down, so he just looks after the car and the tires. Leclerc is in a very good position. He has 82% tires. Perez has 66. Verstappen has 52. I think he's gonna win the race. Like, Verstappen is genuinely gonna win the race. It feels like impossible for him to lose. But Charles is definitely in a very good position to go after him. So let us see what's gonna happen here. He could win the race if he could get rid of Perez because Perez is on him. He's not letting go. Like every single place Perez is pushing because he can't afford to. There we go. Perez, he's clearly on an aggressive one here. Hopefully, Charles gets the DRS from the Williams. If he doesn't, oh my god. Now, I hope he gets the DRS from the Williams. <laughs> yep. Attack. And go after. He needs to drop Perez there. Like, it's so important to drop Perez there, because if he doesn't, he won't be able to catch up to the guy in the front. Okay. This is, like, a very crucial phase of the race. I'm not looking at science, to be honest. He is actually in no man's land. <laughs> like, I have no idea what to do with him. Okay, Charles set the fastest lap. That shouldn't be a problem right now. So it's going after... Verstappen right now we could win this race all because we managed the tires well all because of that and they are AI basically killed their tires there were that that was their strategy Charles is catching him and Verstappen is catching lap traffic this is gonna be 
Ooh. I hope he doesn't lose time with this Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg. All right, getting closer. All right, there we go. DRS, ERS, all the RSs doing what they're meant to do. The Sappen stars are gone. I said like it would be very hard for him to win. That one stop was not the strategy. Yet he completely stuck with it. All right. And Charles, no lift off needed. You are doing a good job. You're doing a very good job, Win. Okay. That has is gonna be a problem. It's right there. Oh, nice, nice, nice left. Okay, nice. Keep pushing and we'll see what Charles does. He's already pulled out of the DRS. Oh yeah, Verstappen is finished. That is his race done and done. Welcome to the race. It's finished. Goodbye, guys. Let's hope now nobody crashes. Okay. Signs closed, like five seconds. Wow, very good, nice. Five seconds. So what is the state of the race? Charles in P1, Verstappen, Perez, Signs, Alonso, Russell, Ocon, Magnussen, Stroll, Gasly, Hülkenberg, Albon, Norris, Noda, Hamilton in P15, what happened to him? Well, anyways, here we are at the last lap of the race. Go ahead. Try to aim for the fastest lap. Last was... Please, 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 don't do stuff like this. like this. Don't continue push, like push. this. Dear Lord. Somebody gets the fastest lap. I think Carlos might be the most likely because he has all the S's here. He has the tires, the fuelists, and the ERS's. And maybe not lost time. Here come Charles on the last lap. Let's go, come on! Yeah, come on man. Yeah, you're doing a fantastic race. That's Leclerc! Charles Leclerc is today's winner! Yeah, yeah. What a race. Unbelievable. Oh like Yeah. Fast as lap, great. Right. Taking the front. MP4. Really solid race. I try everything. Good job. Yeah, I tried my best, guys. You did, you did, trust me. Yeah, good job, guys. So, we lapped everyone up to P11. Alonso, Russell gets 6th. Ocon is 7th, Magnuson 8th, Stroll 9th, and Gasly 10th. And that is the end of the race. Okay, race finish. That was a very hard one. Now isn't that the kind of drive we love to see from Charles Leclerc? Yeah. It was a truly excellent win, with everything working together for the team and driver. We may see these kind of scenes a lot in Formula One, but it's easy to forget just what it means to the whole team. That's such a small team. And the team. Monogast driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. That gives them their first win of the season, and it was really well deserved. It was, it was, it was very well deserved. And we've certainly kicked things off in style, here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Take that picture, and yeah, Sergio looking like his mouth has been clear. As far as Ferrari are concerned. Okay, all right, let's move on. How does it look in the 13, cars is in 25. Fastest lap was Carlos, pretty good. Hamilton lost 10 positions, I have no idea what happened to him. I mean, I could just have a look what happened to Hamilton. He got time penalty, so I'm guessing he basically shunted into someone. Okay. In terms of us, Carlos gained five positions, Charles gained two. So we have done the opposite of real life. Ferrari is not a qualifier, it's a race winner. <laughs> Like, it, 
it's capable of winning races, just not qualifying well. Okay, let's move on from there. In terms of drivers, Charles on top, I mean it's the same as the race result. Constructors, Ferrari on top, fighting Red Bull. What is the saying? DLH, fastest lap. Carlos got 10 points, Charles got... Okay. Okay, McLaren is the fastest. No worries, we'll amend that too. Reserve diver. 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 Dry. Okay. Where did we lose the money? Performance guarantees qualifying position. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. It's straight 3 and 3.8 mil. So. Okay. That was good. Alright. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Remember to like and dislike. Subscribe, whatever sees you fit. And I know actually I sound like very down right now because it's late at night. I'm recording this. And I decided to do it anyway, so I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Goodbye.